Okay, welcome to Python for Java Coders Part 5. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at conditionals, which are comparisons. Again, I'm not trying to teach you programming here. I assume that you already know what's going on in Java. And I'm just going to show you how to do the equivalent code in Python, talk a little bit about the differences. So again, we don't need classes. Okay, we don't absolutely have to have a method. We can just go ahead and start writing code. So does 3 equal three what a great question <laughs> okay so in python watch what we do here now this is where this is where we start seeing some significant differences in the way that python is structured and i'll talk about that here in a second so i'm going to say if three equals three colon enter notice how it was already indented okay, actually i'm going to go ahead and fix the indentation on here but in python the indentation size is four. That is the default indentation size. So I'm using the tab key, but notice how it's automatically converting to spaces. Okay, this is one of the things that people don't like about Python. It's because the spacing counts. Okay, over here in Java, if I do this, this is perfectly valid Java code. We just do do it like this so that it you know it's just visually easier to understand. But I can actually write this line exactly like that. The only thing that matters is these braces. Okay. Now Python does not use the curly braces. Okay, this is this is for this is what we call a C type language. And it looks if you look at C it's pretty well it looks very, very similar, although they function quite differently. So in Python, when we have an if statement, at the end we need a colon, the next line must be indented. That tells us that this line is part of this if statement. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and say print, and I'm gonna print true. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and run that. Does three equal three? Now notice I didn't put parentheses. So let's take away the parentheses here and see what happens. Okay, so you can see how we got an error. So Java requires that you put the parentheses here. Python does not, although you can. Now in some cases you absolutely need them, but in a simple case like this you don't. Okay, so we should see the exact same output. So it's up to you really which style you want to stick to. If you have a habit of putting parentheses, go ahead and put them in. Okay. Now notice, my next line is not indented. Okay, so I'm going to say this is outside the if statement. So I'm going to go ahead and run this. Okay. And this is, I'll say, print inside the if statement. Okay. So in Java, it's very clear because we have these curly braces to tell us the starting and stopping. But in Python, the white, it's called white space. The white space controls what is inside and what is outside. So now if I change this to two, it still prints this because it's outside of the statement. Outside, so in this case, they're lined up vertically. But these are inside. In Java, of course, you would have had curly braces. But in Python, we don't use those. Okay, so one other thing in Python 3, you cannot mix tabs and spaces. Okay? Now, as a convenience, most editors will convert your tabs to spaces so you don't have to hit space, 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 space. Okay? Now, if I put an extra space there, Let's see what happens. Okay, so you can see how we got an error because there is one little extra space there. You'll see where it says indentation error. It did not expect an indent there. Okay. Now if I do this and run it, we'll also get an indentation error. So here it expected an indent because after this colon, after this if statement, we have to at least have one indented statement to say that this is part of the if and conditional structure. Okay. Very interesting differences. Okay. So I'm gonna hit print, I'm gonna move on with the next part. Again, so I do not have to type, I do not have to declare the variable type, so I can just type x equals three. I can type y equals two. Oops. And I'm gonna say print is, and again, back to Python formatting. Dot format. 
So again, this is stuff that came up in the previous videos, x comma y. Now again, because of the order, okay, x will go into the first one, y will go into the second one. Okay, so let's go ahead and try it. So if x is greater than y, colon, print true, do it back, else, okay, I also need a colon there, print, oops, false. Okay, and the reason I can print true and false and not put quotation marks is because they are Booleans. They're an actual variable type and the computer automatically fixes that and prints it out for you as a string. Okay, so is three greater than two? Yes, it is. Okay, if I switch that around, we'll see false. Okay, so again, these types of things work very, very similarly. So you can see that there's a parallel structure going on here. It's just that the syntax is, is quite a bit different in Python. Python syntax is much, much simpler. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and try this again. Now you can see, I just kind of switched it here and did it, but I could, I could go ahead and rewrite that. So let's go ahead and just do it how I did it in the first one. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. So I'm gonna go ahead and change x to two and two to three and go ahead and run it. Okay, let's go ahead and run that again so we have something to compare it to. So is three greater than two? Yeah, true. Is two greater than three? False. All right, so, so far so good. Okay, next up we're gonna do a quick kind of just some rock, paper, scissors code and learn a little bit more about conditionals. Okay, so again, remember in Java, you must declare the type and the string type here, so player A equals rock. Also remember in Java, it uses camel casing. So it starts with a lowercase, and then when there's a, a boundary to another word, we make it uppercase. And, but in Python, we use snake casing. So I'm gonna say player underscore A equals rock, and player underscore B equals scissors. And again, I didn't need to declare it. Python, oh, this is a string. So now this is a string. Easy peasy. So if player A, now in Python, we don't use dot equals. We don't use that, we just use equals. Okay, rock. And here we've got or. Okay, that is or in Java. Over here in Python, it's just or. Player B equals rock, colon. Notice it's automatically indented, four spaces. And say print, someone chose rock. Okay, so let's go ahead and test that. Again, this is online, so it takes a little bit of time to, to compile and run, I guess. So someone chose rock, and so that's what we see. Now, so there's also the if, else if, elif and else if and else structure. So let's take a look at that and see what that looks like in Python. So if player A equals rock. Okay, so again, in, in Java, we use two ampersands for and. In Python, we just use English. Player B equals scissors, colon, enter. And again, notice it's two equal signs, not one equal sign. So we can print here, player A wins, because rock, of course, beats scissors. Now, in Java, we have else if. In Python, we got elif. Same thing, just slightly shorter. So player A equals rock, and player B equals paper. We print, in this case, we sent player B wins. And then finally, here's else. Okay, we say print tie. Again, I know this this isn't quite the correct rules for uh, this wouldn't work in a real uh, paper rock scissors game because you still have if player A has scissors, player A has paper. You have to program all of those and then your else statement, your tie. But for this this limited case, we can test that. Okay, so player A wins. So I'm gonna go ahead and test that. I'm gonna change that to paper and run it. 
Now player B wins. Not sure why that's doing that over there. And then we'll go ahead and we'll do rock and rock. And then we've got a tie. Okay. So you can see over here, there's there are some significant differences in the syntax uh, and the way things are done, but essentially the structure is the same. It's just it's just you again you can just see how much cleaner Python is than Java, and how just yeah it looks yeah much simpler to 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 at least wrap your head around especially as a beginner. So coming from Java, I think you know Python's fairly simple to pick up in a lot of ways. But coming from Python to Java would be much more more difficult because it, Java is a much stricter language, has a far 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 more rules. Okay, so we've got greater than, less than, all those things are the same as they are in Java. So we got greater than, less than, uh, not equal, uh, equal, greater than or equal to, and less than or equal to. All those things are the same in Java, and they are in Python, which is nice. And we did that. And then you can see some differences here. String comparisons are very, very different. Uh, so it's string dot equals method, but in Python we don't do that. We just use two equal signs, okay? Just like we do with uh, integers and floats. So and then if is the same, but it's l if instead of else if, and then else is the same. Again, the the convention for variable names is again snake casing versus camel casing, so that's important. And finally, or is these two lines, but in, in Python it's just English, and in Java and and, but in Python it is and. Okay, so hopefully that'll get you started with comparisons and conditionals in Python. Good luck!